What's up, everybody? Welcome to the bunk area of my humble abode while I'm out here. As you can see, I got my computer open because I am making and completing the video that I'm about to put up. It will it won't be posted until next year. So I guess you could say I'm making the video within the video, right? Right? Look, welcome to my channel. I really do appreciate that you guys watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe because I drop jewels all the time. But this is what I really want to talk about. I, I want to talk about YouTube as as for what it was. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, for what it is. What it was. It sounded like past tense, right? But I've been a YouTuber for over 10 years and I really didn't get into the whole creator thing until later down the line you know what I'm saying I was really using YouTube in the beginning as storage which it which it really was for what it was back then it was for storage it gave people an online place to store all the videos that they could make, you know, sort of like a cloud, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But then later down the line, YouTube had became this, this thing, this phenomenon, you know what I'm saying? So the difference between now and then is that a lot of, a lot of people search on YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine, com I mean, that's the Google. All right, that's why I guess that's why Google brought it. Go figure. There's a lot of changes since then, since YouTube has became YouTube. I mean, you know, a lot of stuff that you can and cannot do on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You, YouTube made it so that it gave you an outlet. It gives you an outlet to do all sorts of things. You can come on YouTube and find anything you want to find is on YouTube. You want politics? It's on YouTube. You want how to do something? It's on YouTube. You want the you 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 want beauty tips? It's on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's a platform. It has become more of a platform now than a storage system from what it was in the beginning. I didn't consider myself a YouTuber back in the day until I actually went back and started watching all my videos. You know, I mean, you can still, you can still set your videos to how you want it. If you want it to be public or you want it to be unlisted. But let me tell you something about this YouTube phenomenon, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, let me tell you about social media in general. Alright. Now I just saw a YouTuber's video a few minutes ago. Where's my phone? What I do with my phone? See there, I got see there so much stuff. I I can't find my phone, but that's why I got my trusty watch here that's connected to my phone and just hit that button right there and it's about to ring my phone in a minute see see there it is I found my phone okay right here so I checked out this youtubers video on his video he says that uh, that a formal complaint has been issued to the company that he works at. I'm a subscriber to, to his channel because of all of the all of the foolery this man brains this man brains. His content is on point. You know, he's a truck driver, just like me. And his content is on point. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I don't, you know, I, I watched the video. He made another video today that's uh, that kind of that kind of hit close to home because it happened to me. Um, he uh, he said in this video that you know his company called him up 
and said that somebody made a formal complaint about his content. Now I was like, I was like, whoa, wow. Uh, you know, I was like, wow. There is people out there that does that. There are there are there are different types of people out in the world. A lot of people that I you know that I don't understand why they do what they do. Some people call and complain about people's stuff on purpose, and I don't understand why. I'm like this: if you don't like what I put out there, don't watch it. If you don't like, it's it's like the food. It's like if I go to a restaurant and, and I and I don't like the food, I'm not going back to that restaurant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if I if 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 something that happened to me directly, then I will make that formal complaint against you about it. If it happened to me directly, but I'm not going to complain about about what I see, what I saw, what I've done. I'm not going to complain about that. I'm just going to change the channel, not watch, not listen, and leave it alone. People, you got to understand this social media thing is dangerous. It's good and it's dangerous at the same time. You can't put out too much stuff that gives somebody ammunition to mess with you. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, what happened to me when I made the video about, uh, about the Qualcomm, I mean, not the Qualcomm, but the driver tech at my other company, that's what got me, that's, that's what got, that's, what got me to part ways with my other company. It wasn't because I was putting videos out. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't because I had the camera in my hand or whatever the case. They had to make it official. But the main reason was because I was talking about the driver tech. I was talking about the company in the bad light. You see what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, me and that company is not together. Now, can I go back to that company? Yeah, I can. You know what I'm saying? Six months is already up. You know what I'm saying? But I like where I'm at. I love where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? Not everybody, not everybody likes a trucking company because you got to make the company your own. I like it. They treating me good. You know, I'm bringing people over. A couple of people have signed up because of me. I got a couple of more people that's signing up. So if you guys want to come to JNR Swoogle, hit me up in the email. Anyway, what I'm just what I'm just saying is, and I'm I'm about to make it short because I don't want to be all long-winded about it. What I'm saying is you got to be careful on what you're putting out in social media. Not just YouTube, but social media. You got to be careful of of how you how you present yourself, all right? I love the content and I love everybody doing it. But you got to be careful on what you on how you doing it and how you presenting it because you're not only I guess you're not only representing yourself on YouTube that's them good to go all right thank you all right they're they're ready but anyway uh, what I want to say is you're not you're not only representing yourself but you're representing the company that you're working for I mean if you go in the past a lot of people have gotten canned or have gotten released sorely because of their YouTube uh, 
They got released because of their Facebook. They got released because of whatever, whatever you put out there on the internet. Whatever you put out there on the internet. Don't think nobody ain't going to see it. Nobody of, in, of importance. See what I'm saying? I made a video. And everybody, I made that Thanksgiving video. And everybody at my company loved that video. And I didn't, I, I met people that I haven't even seen before. Hey, hey, that's the guy. That's, that's, that's the Shugo guy. I like him. You got to be careful on what you're putting out there. For everybody else that's coming into this YouTube game and coming, you know, that's coming into this YouTube game, be careful on what you you bringing out. All right? I just want you guys to know, be careful what you're bringing out. This is just a raw video. I just want this to be raw and show you the emotion because everybody on everybody out here is not cool everybody out here is not cool somebody gonna watch the channel my channel your channel whatever channel and somebody gonna always have something bad to say I've been in the customer service game way too long to not understand this you get more bad shit than you do good uh, then you do good compliments. You hear more bad com uh, you hear more bad complaints than you hear good con uh, good compliments. Trust me, I know. I've been in the game way too long to not know about that. For every for every one for every one good compliment, there is about ten bad ones that will call up and say. Hey, lockout man is this, and hey, lockout man is that, and he didn't do this, and he didn't do that. But where's the good compliments at? You don't get those. I'm about to end it. I'm about to end it because I'm long-winded. But on my channel right quick, I got people commenting on older videos. Like I said, I, I only use it, I only use YouTube as a storage thing, you know, back then. But I got people commenting on older videos like, well, that was a waste of time. That was a wasted video. That was this. That was that. Who cares what you think? I I didn't put it up there for, at that time, I didn't put it up there for you to make a comment on it. I, I put it up there for storage so that I can go back and watch it and enjoy it. That's what I did, but... Like I said, YouTube is a phenomenon now. It's a phenomenon. Remember, YouTube is a phenomenon now. You get into this game, you got to be careful, especially if you're working. Especially if you're working, let me put on my shoes, especially if you're working a good job that you want to keep. Be careful on on what you, what you put out there. Sometimes what you think Sometimes what you think is good could be hurting you. That's all I got to say, y'all. Look, you like the content, like it. You don't like the content, don't like it. Subscribe. If you're new, I mean, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I drop jewels all the time. I got to put that on the t-shirt. Not into the t-shirt thing. But... As I'm finishing, I'm about to get this video prepared to be uploaded and be done. I gotta go. You guys take it easy. Holler at your boy.